Hi everybody, Sarah here from SH Millinery again and this time we're talking all about wiring and edging hats and you'll see from the photograph the diff different types of wire that I'm going to be talking about and the first type I'm going to be talking about is brim reed. Now it's plastic so sometimes it's called plastic hat wire, but most commonly it's called brim reed. And you can either get it in clear, sometimes you can find it in white or black. And if you look in the description below the video, I do tell you where I've got all these things from. Now why I like plastic brim reed is it's lightweight, easy to join, but it doesn't have the flexibility for wire. So it's great if you want a flat brim, but it won't bend up for say um, the curves on a brim. So it's okay for flat stuff. And what I like about the clear is it becomes all, almost invisible when you're sewing net or very sheer fabrics over it. So that's the first plastic brim read. Then we have the traditional millinery wire, which is cotton covered. Millinery wire comes in all types of different widths from very thin to very thick. Obviously the, the thicker it is, the more stable it will be and the flatter it will be. So again, for example, if you want a flat brim, use a thickish one and it will stay in place, but it does have the flexibility to be bent. So you can put brims up, you can use this for attaching a uh, decoration to the hat. So it's more flexible than the plastic. And again, you can colour this with an alcohol pen, a Sharpie or something like that. And on occasion, you can actually buy it in colours, so red, green, blue, etc. So that's traditional millinery wire. Then you've got sprung wire. Now sprung wire is exactly what it says, very springy. It doesn't have the flexibility to bend because it's sprung into those rounds. But again, it's fantastic for very thin brim edges and you'll have seen it when I've used it in some of my illusion brims. So sprung wire. Again, you need wire cutters for this and for this, although the brim reed you can cut with scissors. So that's sprung wire. Then you've got ordinary plastic cover garden wire. This is great if you want to do convoluted shapes or small hats where you want to be able to bend the brim. And of course, it's a cheap alternative to the others. But remember, this won't keep its shape so well. Okay. And again, you need wire cutters. So that's the type of uh, stiffening wiring for brims. You can also buy brass ferrules to attach the two ends of the wire together. They're little brass tubes. So for example, they slip onto one end, slip onto the other, and then you push them together with pliers. You really, really have to squeeze them together to make them hold. Otherwise, they just won't hold the, the brim reed or the wire in place. And it takes a bit, of, a bit of a time to get it just so. But I don't use them very often because... I do find even when you've squeezed and squeezed, they come off anyway. And it's much easier to use a piece of sellotape. So I use a little bit of tape to join all my brim wires together. So like such. And once it's inside the hat or covered, you can't see it and it's quite firm. Now, 
<clears throat> you can use all these wires for other things apart from just the brims, but they are, that's what we're talking about today. So I won't bore you with doing other things. We're just talking about brims. Okay, so attaching things to brims. You've got, if you're attaching fabric, cinema or felt, you can either do it by hand or by machine. So we're going to look at doing it by hand first. Now for this, I'm going to use strong thread. And I'm going to do a blanket stitch. So I'm going to start off here. I've left a knot so that I can join the cotton there. And now we're going to go around with a blanket stitch. So as close to the wire as possible, up and under. As close to the wire as possible, up and under. So you're doing a blanket stitch all the way around the edge. Now, of course, you can do this with uh, cinema, you can do it with fabric, or you can do it with felt. And that's the hand stitched way. Keep the stitches fairly close together, about half a centimetre normally. And there we are. So if you're going to use a machine with zigzag and your wire, and it doesn't matter whether you're using cinema or whether you, I'm going to cut this wire short, or whether you're using uh, felt or fabric, and it doesn't matter which type of wire you're using, what you need to do is make sure the wire is running down the centre of your foot so that you don't hit it with the needle. Yeah, so keep it running down the centre. And there you are, you've attached your wire with a zigzag stitch. done is I've wet the Petersham so it's just damp and what you need to do is fold it over the edge like so make sure you've got equal side equal piece of Petersham on both sides of the board and what you do is you stretch it so pull it taut so that it bends round and again clip pull it taut and bend it round and clip now when that's dry that will be a fabulous edge. It'll all be ready for you to put on. It'll be stretched tight so you won't have any ripples or kinks. So there we are. Now what you can see here is I've just, on this piece of felt, I've just stitched some brimmery to the edge just so we've got something to play with to show you. Right, and I'm going to put this um, ordinary bias binding on the edge. Now, what I suggest when you do this is you take off your ordinary foot and put a zipper foot. It gives you more flexibility to get up close to the wire, especially if you're using narrow um, Petersham or bias binding. So, I've got it set up so that I'm going to be sewing it this side as if I was going to be sewing a zip. And if you really want to, and you've got the flexibility to move your needle over, you're even closer. I'm going to pull this tight, because I don't want it that wide. But I don't want it this wide at all. But I didn't, have, I didn't have a piece of narrow to show you. So what you do is fold it over. And then because you've got that foot there, you can sew right up to the edge of the wire. Do you 
see what I mean? Um, it works even better if you've got narrow binding, but I haven't, I didn't have any to use. So that's the first thing I'm going to show you. And then what you can do, let's get rid of all those threads because I've just pulled it all off, is turn my binding around the other way. You can stitch it this way to your edge. And then turn it over, fold it over, and just hand stitch on the other side. And as you can see, that gives a really, really neat edge. And I just find it easier using a zipper foot. So you just catch stitch on the other side, and that makes it makes it very neat and tidy. So that's another little trick. If you're doing it by hand, you really need to be very careful that both your edges are equidistant on both sides, and you do little tiny stitches, stab stitches in and out. That's the only way to make it really neat and tidy, and that would be a couture finish, doing little tiny stab stitches all the way along. But whatever you do, you must pull your bias tight. Otherwise, you're, if you don't, when you've stitched it on, you'll have wrinkly, crinkly bits where it won't, won't lie flat. It's like trying to put a square peg into a round hole. You need to use something that's got stretch and bias to go round a circle. Of course, you can make your own um, edging. For example, if I was going to be using cinema and making a cinema edge, oh, I've lost the big scissors. <laughs> I would make my own bias. So you cut your cinema on the cross, like so. And then using an iron, although I'm not going to do that, both edges fold over. Like that. Then that edge folds over as well. You do all this with an iron, but I'm just doing this so I can show you here. Then you fold those two over so you have something that resembles that. Not very easy because I haven't lined it. So there we are. So you've now made your own bias edging for your hat. So that would go on the edge of your cinema like so like that and you would sew through either with a straight stitch or a zigzag i'll just do it with some black stitches just to show you so once you've got your wire on you just stitch your cinema edge on like so i hope that's helped you all folks there's lots more i could show you but i said this would be a millinery short and I've tried to keep it fairly short. Don't forget to subscribe. And when you do subscribe, do click for notifications. Otherwise, you won't know when I've put my next videos up. Take care.